Good evening, good evening, good evening, everyone. Waiting for a few people to join the live before I get started on my little um dish here. So I'll wait for a couple of people to come on the live. Hope all is well with everyone. Hope we're all practicing social distancing, being safe. Waiting for a few people to come on and join the live. I don't want to have to kind of keep repeating myself. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for joining the live. Please share. Share the live, share the live. Once again, I'm getting ready to show you how I make my healthy version of a po' boy, gluten-free. So share the live, share the live. Bring on some other folks that might want to learn how to make my po' boy, like I said, it's the way I make it. Judgment-free zone. Shit alive, shit alive. Shit alive. Thank you for joining us this evening. I know it's kind of late. I really wasn't feeling myself. I had this major migraine all day today, and I really wasn't able to um perform at my optimum best, so I felt like it wasn't a good time to come on. I know I'm supposed to do my quarantine brunch um, yesterday at 2. That was an epic failure. I wasn't able to um, really get out of bed and do that. So I decided I'm starting to have a little appetite now that I'll come on alive and share with you guys my uh, um, share with you guys my version of a pull boy. Instead of using a bun, we're going to use voila. So bear with me. We're doing this together for the first time. So that's what makes it kind of fun and whimsical. Like I tell you, I'm an unconventional cook. I just kind of go with the flow. Whatever I have in my fridge, I kind of just go with it and, you know, create something and hopefully it comes out good. It's not hopefully, it's going to come out good. I'm a master of producing tasty, tasty meals. So once again, please share the live, share the live. Let your friends know, your family know they're in for a treat tonight. It's going to be quick, simple. I'm not gonna, I promise you guys, I'm not going to be holding you on for like hours and hours tonight. But please share the live. Normally, I would share this on my personal platform, but I decided that I needed to share some love with my Twisted Roots followers. So once again, um, share the live, share the live. Okay, guys? I don't want to just... I mean, I want to cook for everyone, but I would rather more people get on the live so I can share with more people. So if you could do that for me, please. And also, if you are on Instagram, please follow my business page, Twisted Roots on IG. Twisted Roots, once again, on IG. It's also a fake page out there. The fake Twisted Roots IG page has, I think right now, maybe 16, 18 followers. So if, if it's that page, that's the wrong page. Also, I started um, a YouTube channel, Curly Q Cooking. Curly Q's Cooking. Also, please go on and subscribe to that channel. I need all the support I can get. I just got to get the videos uploaded. I'm still in the process of learning how to edit and so forth. So please, share the live, share the live. Once again, we're getting ready to make my version of a po' boy. A shrimp po' boy. Share the live, share the live. Share the live, share the live. Let your friends know. Let your loved ones know you're in for a treat. Real simple, real easy. I promise I'm not going to hold you long tonight. Share the live, share the live. Hello, hello. For those who are coming on, we're getting ready to make a shrimp po' boy. Okay, guys? Shrimp po' boy. Okay, it's going to be really easy, really simple. Share the live, share the live, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Okay? Shrimp po' boy. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready? Are you ready for a treat? Hey, Nephi. Hey, my constant supporters. I really appreciate you guys coming and joining me this late at night. Okay? We're going to make a shrimp po' boy gluten-free. My, my version, my style. I don't know if this already exists. But I'm like, why not? You do everything else with plantain. So this is what we're going to use the plantain as our bun, okay? Instead of using a hero or, or a roll, we're going to use the plantain as our bun for my shrimp po' boy. Um, and also, normally in a traditional po' boy, 
you um shrimp po' boy, you would actually fry your shrimp in some type of batter. But in this one, we're not going to put a batter on it. We're just going to season it up really well. Not not even a lot of seasoning. This is something real basic. I'm going to make a roumelade, um dressing or a sauce to put on the sandwich. Really simple ingredients that you may have in your um, cupboard or in your refrigerator. So that's what we're going to do. And I like everything to look pretty once I'm done. So once again, you're going to need this is 1620 jumbo shrimp. Um, I have I have already washed, rinsed it off and have taken off the um, tails. I think I left the tails on like four of them. I'm probably going to use that to decorate. Hey, Shireen. Hey, Shireen. Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Nephi. Peter, I don't see you on the live, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming on. Sure. So this is what we're making tonight. I'm still trying to wait for more folks to join the live. Thank you, thank you for joining. Shit alive, tell a friend. Gonna be real quick. Not one of those long, long, dragged out um, cooking tutorials today, okay? I promise. But if y'all want me to be on longer, I'll stay on. What do we have to lose? Okay? I know some of y'all probably struggling just like me to sleep at night. Once again, we're using 1620 jumbo shrimp. Right? Gonna be lightly marinated with some Creole seasoning. Um, a little bit of lime juice, throwing some butter in my um, skillet, and we're going to take it from there. And then we're going to fry our bun using canola oil. Okay? I will point out to you each time which, which dressing or which seasoning I'll be using to marinate things. Okay? I'm not Today I didn't get real fancy. Normally I would get all cute and pour everything into little dishes and so forth, but it's kind of late. And I know you're not going to come over and help me clean up. So we're just going to do it real old school and, and quick tonight. Okay. So I'm not going to let y'all suffer any longer. So I'm going to start off with my shrimp. Like I said before, it's already been rinsed off. We're just going to season it lightly with Creole seasoning. Right? And then we're going to add some minced garlic. I did add a few pieces of minced garlic earlier, but I just love garlic. So now we're going to lightly season this. With a crayon seasoning. I hope you guys can see. I'm gonna get the take the camera off of me so y'all can kind of see what, what I'm doing. <clears throat> so this is my crayon seasoning. Can you see what I'm doing, guys? Can you see? And then I'm going to add. Ooh, that's seasoning. Have me to have me sneeze. They're gonna be like, damn, she cooking or she got corona. I'm trying to hold it in, but this season is kicking. Woo. Okay, guys. So now I'm going to lightly add some butter to my skillet, which is on medium heat. Right? I'm going to add butter. This is the butter I'm using. Okay. Real, real easy. Just gonna let my butter melt. And then you know me, I always have to add a little bit of my A piece. Can't go wrong with some A piece. My green seasoning, homemade green seasoning. We're gonna add a teaspoon of that. Right? And that also has garlic. So that's that. And then I'm going to crush my garlic using my masher. Like so. Then I'm going to scrape it off using my... Let me know, guys, if you can see what I'm doing. Once again, thank you for joining us tonight and being... um. My supporters, my audience, as I would say, I appreciate it. So that's that. I'm going to add my... And it doesn't take long. So, um, so this is my shrimp here that we're going to add to the skillet so 
so far? How, how y'all like what y'all seeing so far, guys? Very quick and simple. Hopefully, if you have some shrimp in your fridge, I didn't have to go out and buy none of this stuff. This is all sitting in my refrigerator, freezer, cupboard, and I was craving shrimp. So I'm like, hmm, I don't feel like eating bread at this time of night. What can I make? What can I make and also share with you guys for not coming on the live yesterday as I was supposed to. Okay, so that's that. Also, if you want to, I already have the um, parsley in my blend, but I had also wanted to chop up some parsley to make it look pretty. But I forgot to, to do that, so I'm not going to hold you guys up anymore. So we're going to let take about two to three minutes for the shrimp to cook on either side. So that doesn't take long. Once it gets pink, then you know you're good to go. Then we'll flip it. So let that cook on one side. Once that's done cooking, we're going to put that to the side and get our skillet ready to fry up our bun of plantain. Thank you, Nina. I appreciate that, sweetheart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You see, even the little ones are supporting me. I appreciate the love. Hey, Daddy, all the way from Florida. Thank you, Dad, for joining the live. Thank you for being a pro, staying up late. The late night crew. I think I have to turn up this skillet. I turn up the skillet. This smells so good. That I'm telling you, garlic. Whew, I could eat anything with just garlic alone. I'll be fine. With just garlic, I will survive. It smells so good. This is really making me more hungry than I'm already am. Hello, hello, please share the live, share the live. Hey, Betty, hey, Betty. How you doing, Betty? Hey, Jean. Thank you, thank you for joining the live. Once again, we're making my healthy version of a po' boy. So right now we're letting the shrimp cook. Once that's cooked, then we're going to work on the bun, which is plantain. So we're going to use fowl bun. And then we're going to make the roumelade. After this is done, we're going to make the roumelade. And then we'll fry up our um, buns. See how nice? Can y'all see it? Can you guys see? Let me know if you're having any difficulty seeing what I'm making, guys. So while that is going, I might as well start peeling this. Okay, so we're going to go like this. I'm going to put a slit right here. You see that, guys? There we're going to cut the ends like this. Cut the ends. Okay, like that. And also, an easy way to get the skin off, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to grab a spoon. So an easy way you could do to peel off the skin is to go like this with a spoon. You don't have typically have to do it with a spoon, but I find it's easier to, it's another te technique. You could use a knife and you just push it forward like this for those who don't want to get their nails dirty. Or, if I, see how easy that comes off? See? Like that, or do you, the way I normally do it is I take the knife like that, 
But I find when you use the spoon, it comes out a little bit. Ooh, make sure this doesn't burn here. Kind of multitask. You see how it's getting nice and pink? I, it's in the um. It's called shrimp po' boy. Mm. Um, you know what shrimp? See? Mm. It's like a little bit like a little bit of 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 Hey, crazy. What's up when you're green? That's when I'm alive. La bonjour. Hey. Yeah, let's let it get nice and pink. I wish I knew how to translate everything in Creole, but I don't. So please help me out if you know how to say this or translate it for me. You see how it's much easier. I'm not always that great at taking off the skin. I'm probably going to butcher it. You see? No, my son, get off about that. Um. I'm like, some of them soft salad bananas. You see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Normally, I would try to have this already for you. So, like that, like that, and that's it. Take the skin to the side. That shrimp is looking good. Now I'm not gonna dry it. I'm not gonna dry it out. I just want it nice and pink. And then we'll put that to the side. And concentrate on the um the bun. You see? Nice and pink. We're making gluten-free shrimp po' boy. We're not frying it. We're just going to grill it. Grill it, saute it. For those, if you like preferred it fried, you can. You can use a Sazanaran, um shrimp fry or the um, fish fry. You can't even tell the difference. Or you can create your own batter, cornmeal, flour, seasoning it, season it up a little bit. You could do that. But for today, it's kind of late. I didn't want to have anything fried. So we're, we just use butter, garlic. I seasoned it with um, Creole season for those who are coming on. I used my homemade um, A-piece. And I got to throw in my little um, Haitian A-piece in there and everything that I made. So I threw that in there. That's a must. Okay, you and I have friends be like, damn, Haitians, hey, everything that you try, be tasting the same. I'm like, mm, maybe it's the apes. It shouldn't all taste the same, but I get those jokes sometimes from a couple of friends. They're like, I went to a party and everything tastes the same. I was like, I don't know. They was like, she was like, it's probably they use the same seasoning or the same sauce and everything. I'm like, I don't know. It's not supposed to all taste the same, but that could have been the um, situation. Okay, so my shrimp. It's cooking up to my liking. You're not going to die. It's all cooked through. Even a little bit more than it was supposed to be cooked. So we're going to put this to the side, guys, right? We're going to put this to the side. We're going to get the skillet nice and hot for the um, plantain. This is our skillet for the plantain. We're going to use canola oil to fry up the bun. And that's, like I said earlier, the bun in this case is plantain. You cut the ends, put the slit, and then we're going to wash this off. And yeah, please, when y'all go to bed tonight, say a prayer for me because I'm still not feeling my best. But it's better than how I was feeling this morning. Okay, guys? Once again, thank you for joining me on this segment of
shrimp po' boy edition quarantine cooking. Because, guys, when I go back to work, I don't know how often I'll be able to come on the lives, but trust me, this is also therapeutic for me coming on this live. It allows me to kind of let loose and forget what's really going on with this world. So, um, and then I do, I genuinely have a passion to cook. So, it was quite rather easy for me to come and do this. You guys, for those who, are, who may not be at great at peeling, you see it and it comes off. Okay, so then what you're gonna do is once it's already been cleaned off, there's like there's multiple options. You can actually season this if you like, and some crayon seasoning, salt and water, add a little bit of lime juice. But in this case, everything else is well seasoned. We're not going to do that. We're just basically going to cut it. We can probably lightly salt it once it comes out. But for, the, for what we're going to do today, we're just going to slice it in the middle and fry it. Okay, guys? So, like I said, we're going to use canola oil. Canola oil. But you could pretty much use whatever oil of your liking. But I find that it's really, really good to use this type of oil when you're frying, guys. So, now, canola oil. Once again... Measurements, hmm, I don't know. I would say maybe this is about half a cup or a cup of oil. So now we're going to cut this in half, like so, right? Ooh. Like this, like that, real easy, right? You can do that, guys, right? Hey, Brooklyn. Brooklyn in the house. Hey, Michael and Samantha. You see? Oh, I had a little bit of water. So, you know, you see when it starts to sizzle like that? You, that's how you can do your test when you know your oil is ready. Because when it starts to be throwing a little bit of water and it sparkles, it wasn't intentional, but I had some water that flinged off the bottom of this um, knife. And it just started flickering all over the place. So, this is what you're going to do. Straight in the center right so remember this is going to be our bun and you're going to need to fry it fry it once to get it nice and tender then you're going to take it out of the oil and then you're going to flatten it whatever tool or plate that you may have for, for today we're going to use this mini size cutting board and I have it already sitting on a cutting board to flatten it down okay this is how we're going to achieve the bun for our um Shrimp po' boy, guys, okay? So now we're going to add this to our oil. Like so. Normally, I would say not to overcrowd your pan. But these can actually all fit in here one time. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. So how am I doing, guys, so far? How am I doing? Do you like what y'all see so far, guys? Let me know. Let me know. And also, in the comment section, please include what you would like me to cook next time. Okay? I need me a little wine right now, the way I'm feeling. Maybe that'll make me feel a little bit better. Jerry. Hey, Jerry. Yeah, I need something. Red wine. Something. Merlot. Something. So we're going to let this get cooked tender. We're not going to let it brown all the way through. That's going to be on the second phase. Because it's um, too, you got to fry it twice. You fry it for it to get soft enough for it to cook through. So we can flatten it. And then we're going to put it back in the oil. Whew. Once again, you're... Um, you're all learning along with me. Yeah. And my lovely followers, please make sure you follow me on my new YouTube channel as well. 
curly Q cooking. And also for those who are on um, on Instagram, please follow my IG page, Twisted Roots, as well. I would really appreciate that. And thank you for those who have already started following me. I know I'm a little late on my videos. I'm still working on trying to edit. So that's what's going on. I have a slew of videos. Haitian food, American food, whatever you name it, I'm working on it. And everything, key ingredients to, when I, to my, my food is I cook with a lot of love and passion. That's my key ingredients. No script. I just kind of go with the flow. I try a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And if that doesn't work, we just do, do over. You see how bold I am? I got on a, I got on a live to make a shrimp pole boy with plantain. And I have never done this before. I said it can't be too bad. I fried plantain before. But I've never made a shrimp pole boy out of you was making a bun out of a plantain for a shrimp pole board. So I'm like, hmm, we'll just learn together. And if it works, we'll keep it. And if it doesn't, we'll come up with something else. Thank you, Dad. Thank you for always being in my corner and being my supporter. I really appreciate that. And trust me, if I ain't doing good, he'll tell me. I see he wrote great. So I really appreciate that. Please let me know how I'm doing, guys. Because I know I'm, I'm camera shy. I normally like to be on the sideline getting the work done. And if also, if you're ever in Brooklyn and you want a great spot to get juice, any healthy options, please come out to Twisted Roots, located at 7905 Flatlands Avenue, Brooklyn, New York. Okay, guys, if you're ever in the area, please stop by. You'll be taken care of well, fed well. Everything is made health conscious. And made with you in mind and with a lot of love. Okay, so if you're ever, ever in the area, do come by. Okay, so I'm going to get a plate so I can get. So the plate, I'm gonna get my, my paper on here. And this is how you test it to see if it's. It's not cooked all the way through the way I want it to. This piece is a little bit thicker. I don't know if you can see. That piece is a little bit. If I'm doing good, guys, give me the thumbs up. If I'm doing bad, give me the thumbs down. I do appreciate the feedbacks, the honesty. But once again, this is a positive, positive free zone where we can all just be ourselves, share. Let me know other dishes that you would like to see me share. Let me kind of lower the temperature because I don't really want this to get too brown. I just want it to cook enough so when I try to smash it, it's not an epic failure. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I'm pretty good in the kitchen when it comes to using common sense. So um, I want to produce a good dish. And tasty, something that you can kind of replicate on your own. And I actually thought this would be a good dish to kind of share with you guys. Not too complicated, not too fan, not too fancy, but I'm gonna make it look fancy. So I'm gonna take a traditional pole boy that's normally done on a on a roll, a hero, and we're going to use plantain to produce to create a bun out of it. Okay, guys? So we're taking this out of the oil. Right? Who are you seeing when I took a follow me? My boy, you banana banana you la? Can you pas le I know some of them like, what is she saying for some of my followers that came in on the live from Haiti? So, can you pas le banana? The plantain. And I'm going to mash it down to hopefully this will be big enough. Ugh, I probably need a, whew, um, I'll put all my body and muscle into this. Whew. You see? So 
So you see what I'm doing, guys? Hello. Hey, Mario. Sac passe na boule. You see, guys? Can you see? Let me know, guys, if you can see. So that's what... <clears throat> okay. So this is what we're trying. What we're trying to achieve. And hopefully we'll be able to stack all the goodness on this um on this bun. So that's the first one. Ooh, you gotta put in a, your muscle into this. You might need a strong muscular man around to help you when you're doing this. Ooh. I hope Rona, I hope Rona didn't come hit me my come my way. Yeah, Rona I'm coughing. Lord have mercy. We have one. Remember what my two said? I know that's a new thing right now. If you cough, they be like, mm, you must got the Rona. Okay, so now I'm mashing down my. Shit alive, shit alive, please. Patage live la. Let some other people in on, on this goodness. Please, I really need your feedback, guys. You see? Okay. So now we're going to mash. Another one down, and then we're going to deep. We're going to fry it for a second time. Guys, how do I look? Because I don't know. I don't. Whew. Am I sweating? This is really putting me to work. I wasn't planning on working this hard. <laughs> Once again, guys, we're making a shrimp po' boy. Whew. Bon gym, but I'm looking by guys' side. I do want to go to heaven, but I'm not ready yet, Bonji. <clears throat> okay. Like this. This is this is our bun. This one's kind of skinny. Let's see what happens. skinny and also another thing i i think you could do as well if your bun is not big enough you can actually combine two of them together to achieve a bigger bun <clears throat> so that's just another suggestion also please Thank you, thank you. I don't feel great, but I appreciate it. Mm. So mm. I've got it some kind of five. I don't know what happened to that one. Okay, so now we're going to I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of this total seasoning. Like this is optional, you don't have to. But you know me. From it don't see guna to bagai. Okay. That's totally optional. You don't have to. So now we're going to put it in for a second time. And then when you cook, you can't be afraid. You just gotta, you know, just like a relationship, you take a chance. And it's like you take a lottery, you play the lottery, you're taking a chance. So it's the same thing with cooking. You try it one time, two times. You know us. We try it a couple of times and we hang in there. So you just kind of hang in there until you get it right. Pretty much the same way you kind of approach a relationship. 
Or when you gamble, you never know what you're going to get. Let me turn down my fire because we don't want it to just get, I don't want it to burn. I really want it to um, get its color. But also finish the cooking process, the inside. So this is our bun that we're going to use for our shrimp po' boy. I hope I didn't lose any of you guys yet. How am I doing, guys? Okay. So, we're going to take this one out. All right, and we're going to add another one. I really like the way this turned out. Woo. So, that's going to go on. Patache live la, patache live la, so we can share this goodness with other folks. Let's not just keep this to yourself. Let's not be selfish, guys. So I put the other bun in there. And these are one of those type of um, recipes you can pretty much let loose and do whatever you like. Whatever seasoning you may have, you can pretty much just go with the flow. Um, you see, this was pretty, was fairly easy. I had only added the butter, minced garlic, my apis, Creole seasoning, and that was pretty much it. And then I added the com total seasoning for cooking and grilling. I added this to um, to my bun to give it a little bit of flavor, but you don't have to. It's totally optional. Like you can use kosher salt, pretty much whatever you have. In your cupboard and you feel comfortable um, with using you can go ahead and do that you don't have to go out of your way like I said this was real easy for me I pretty much had all of this in my um, in the house I didn't have to go out and purchase anything I'm telling you Rona got me really cooking and experimenting because normally I'm at the restaurant cooking the same old ordinary food that's pretty good not that it's not good, but I've never had time to duplicate or uh, create other dishes other than what I will cook for my customers. So it's getting nice and golden brown. That's what we want. Can you see, guys? Can you see that goodness in there? Can you see it? Can you see that goodness? Partage live la, partage live ma. Live la, please, s'il vous plaît. Y'all better not be laughing at my Creole, guys. Pas grand dans ce moment. I want this to brown up a little bit, so let me turn up the heat so I can get it to darken up a bit. You don't want it to sit and soak up a lot of oil. So medium heat is pretty good. Shit alive, shit alive. Let other folks know the goodness that's going on over here. And don't forget, before you go to bed tonight, if you haven't done so, please follow my page, Twisted Roots, on IG. Tell a friend, tell a loved one, let them know all the good stuff that we're doing and the good quality food that we're offering at Twisted Roots, a natural juice bar and cafe located right here in Canarsie for those who are familiar with the area. If not, look up, look up our reviews. We're on Uber Eats, DoorDash, Grubhub. If you can't come to us, we can come to you. We also offer catering. Okay, PT. Sa. You bon? Okay, so we're done with that. We're gonna let that cool off a little bit. So now we're going to work on the sauce. Let me get my plating. My plate. I think it should be able to fit on here really nice. Okay? 
Puis on nous parle pas pour nous faire petit sauce là, pour nous mettre sous. So now we're getting ready to um, make the room a lot. Real simple, real easy. Follow along. Okay? Follow along. So you can use lemon or lime or both. Get a little acid going in here. Let me wash my knife off, rinse it off. Okay, so now I'm using a half of the lemon. Okay? Mayo. And for those who may not like mayo, you can actually use um, sour cream. So I'm using a, a teaspoon full of mayo, right? Then I'm going to add spicy. Hey, Leslie, thank you for joining PBL, Bear Lakes in the house. So we're going to add my spicy, spicy yellow mustard to it. Not much. I don't, I'm not a fan of mustard, but that then we're going to add some sweet relish so here's my sweet relish that i'm gonna add sweet relish once again i said this is my version of a po' boy okay guys if it's your first time joining a live please include the state of city a country that you're representing and this is your first time joining the live so now we're going to add creamy burp a creamy bourbon barbecue sauce okay that's going in there then we're going to add capers okay not much okay about that much I'm going to add that. Then we're going to add a little bit of garlic salt. That much. Then we're going to add a little bit of paprika. That much. A little bit of onion powder like that and then i'm gonna add a little bit of my apis hey jersey hey peter thank you for joining the live the apis my little green homemade seasoning we're gonna throw that in there boom okay 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 what else did i forget okay then we're gonna add a little bit of black pepper then we're gonna spice it up a bit Right, want to spice it up a bit with some Louisiana hot sauce. You know, po' boys originated from um, New Orleans. They they make I've never been, but I heard they do make a mean po' boy. So this is my room alive. right? And then I'm going to squeeze my lemon juice in there. You see. Oh, one more thing. I'm going to have to get ghetto. We're out of ketchup. But luckily, like my, like my significant other would say, hubby would say, you're a hoarder. So we're going to add some ketchup. Get a little pretty pinkish color to it. Add a little ketchup. So we're going to add some ketchup. Ooh, Mala already smelling good. We. Hey, Tasha. Thank you. I thank you. Thank you so much for coming on the live. Thank you for the support. Where about Gala? Yes, Sam. Real easy to make, guys. Nothing difficult. This require a little time and preparation. So then I'm going to use my lemon squeezer. In another episode, I will show you another little treat I make with this um lemon squeezer so then we're going to squeeze our little lemon juice in there like so you're gonna stir it up 
Well, I'm not that net like that. Can you see what's going on, guys? Okay, so okay so now we're going to make to assemble our po boy sandwich so i have so we're gonna start off like this here's our bun that we made earlier out of plantain this is the bun right you're gonna add our lettuce can you guys see what I'm doing? If you can't, let me know. Please shit alive. Shit alive. Shit alive and also like, follow my page, Twisted Roots, on Facebook, Instagram. Show me some love. You see, I'm not selfish. I'm showing you all this goodness. I'm not keeping this goodness to myself. Can y'all see what I'm doing, guys? Bonsoir, bonsoir. So now we're adding our tomatoes. So now we're going to get the shrimp that I, we cooked earlier, right? Our grilled shrimp. Y'all see this goodness happening here? Mm. Yeah, no problem with this shrimp, la. Bon shrimp with the tails off, tail off. Who wants to be through, um, chewing through shells when you're eating a sandwich? Not me. See? Boom, my guy. Y'all think I should add this to the menu? What y'all think? I think I need to share this goodness with my Twisted Roots customers. No, no. Mes amis, no, no, bagala. Okay, no, bagala. I'm going to eat sandwich. Cut the zizi, cut the sauce. But that's what I want to see. But y'all see that all the time. What do you want to change, ma? Okay, so got it. I'm going to put the remoulade sauce. I'm going to cement the sauce la. Soutetli, comme ça. And if you don't like the sauce and all the creaminess, you don't have to. It's optional. This is basically my version of a po' boy. Because I know you'll be like, what is she doing to that po' boy? But once again, let me know if you've ever seen this done before. Because sometimes I be thinking I'm the first one to create something. Damn, I can't taste that. Okay, so then you're going to add the top. Like so. You see? That simple. Bell baga in that week. We're about to be simple. So easy. So, so, so easy. Yes, you see that goodness, Miss, Miss Greenwich? That goodness. We. Oui. Yes, the healthy version. You're not eating all that dough we're using. It's gluten free. I know a lot of people that have allergies or they can't have gluten. And they, like I know one of my friends, um, she's not allowed to have any flour anymore. So this would be a great. A great, great idea for her. Okay, for those who have allergies with weed and flour, this is a definitely a healthier and safe alternative. Once again, we fry the plantain. This is how we got we made a bun with plantain. We have our grilled shrimp, lettuce, tomato, marmalade. That's that. And you know me, I gotta get fancy with it. So where did I live? So I, I have to add some fanciness to it. You know me. It's good we, but I have to add some fanciness to it. Moment to bag I bell bell bell. So You see? And it's enough for two. See, that's simple. Just that simple. And we're done. Voila. We're back. I was not going to hold you long. 
Yes, boom bye guy. Real nice dinner with that feet. Being simp. Who who needs to go to a fancy restaurant when you can get fancy right at home? We buy la belly. Messy papi di bel en pile. And I know it's going to be delicious. Where's my camera crew? Nobody's here to take a picture. Mm. They play phone photo, put it on the ground. But guess what? I'm using, I'm using my cell phone to do this. Where? Where's my backup? Put me on you. Like that? Okay, okay. Let me make my happy belt too. You know me. Make my happy belt too. One is say seafood. La gonti citron sous côté, ah. And then I don't feel like digging through all the cupboards. You can sprinkle you a little bit of um parsley on on top. You know, dry parsley to make it look really cute and spruce it up some more. But this is the final final product. What do you think, guys? My first first time. Thank you, thank you for joining the live and allowing me to experiment with you guys. Thank you. I really really appreciate you guys for joining in. Like I said before, please, please share the live, patache live la, and also follow me on my YouTube channel, and also like and follow my business pages, Twisted Roots, and also if you're not following me on Facebook, on my business page, Twisted Roots, do so. We bagala, bagala, boy. Nephi, I'm telling you, it's big enough for you to just split in half and share with someone else, okay? Real simple. And if you don't want to use shrimp, you can use chicken breast. But for shrimp, po' boy, this is what it is. But for those who may have allergies, you can also use salmon. There's a plethora of things that you can actually use out there to achieve the same sandwich. So this is what I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming into my kitchen and experiencing this with me tonight. Love you all. May you all have a blessed night. Please, again, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Share the link. Share the link. I appreciate you all. Stay safe. Be blessed. And have a magical and safe week. Bye. When we have to get I'll be working on some other ingredients. Playing around with something else that I can kind of share with you later on this week. Okay, guys? Have a blessed night. Once again, share the live. Have a watch party. Share this deliciousness with someone else that might need some cooking ideas or something else. They're probably getting tired of eating the same old thing. Okay, guys? Definitely try this with someone else. Share it, share it, share it, share it. I am also new to YouTube, so be patient with me. But definitely believe me, the content is going to be good. Okay? I'm not a trained chef. I'm a self-taught chef. And I just kind of play with things and I have fun with food. So once again, it's silly. And if you do make this, please take a picture and share the live. Bye, Nephi. I'm sorry for making you gung goopy teeth. Pass it. Have a good night. Bonne nuit, tout le monde.